And good Saturday morning to you. Welcome to the 69 News Netcast. I'm Bo Colt now. And I'm Karen Millett. If you weren't watching 69 News at sunrise, here's a bit of what you've missed. The man accused of shooting and killing a man after a fender bender in Allentown last November will spend the rest of his life in prison. A jury convicted 37-year-old Curtis Thomas of first-degree murder for shooting and killing 32-year-old Charles Hughes. After shooting Hughes, Thomas then led police on a chase, eventually chasing his truck on 5th and Turner Street. And this week's deadly shooting in Reading became a big topic during a vigil at Reading High School on Friday night. Now, the vigil was originally planned for the sixth anniversary of the Sandy Hook school shooting in Connecticut, but it took on new meaning as three young men were shot and killed on Moss Street earlier this week. Community members lit candles, listened to speeches, and prayed in memory of the lives lost through gun violence. City Council members who attended the event say gun violence will be discussed at Monday's council meeting. Security was stepped up at schools in Reading because of the deadly shooting. Several police officers were stationed outside Reading High School when students were dismissed yesterday afternoon. School officials posted on Facebook they were aware of social media posts about potential threats. Some students say the recent violence has them on edge. Others say the extra police presence has them feeling safe. And in weather, it's going to be warm today, but rainy both today and tomorrow. A little icier the further north you get, especially up into the Poconos. But Monday could be a nice day. The sun will pop out then, but not a white weekend for sure. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates here at WFMZ.com. Have a good weekend.